I was asked a question by a parent this week whether they think that, um, or whether I think that they should be sending their six-year-old to specialised private coaching, cricket coaching. Um, and I've been asked this question before. Um, it's quite a simple answer. If you can afford it and you have a good coach close by and that's what you want to do, then by all means, it's, there's, there's nothing wrong with it. But at the same time, it's not essential. Um, it really isn't. And if you are sending your kid or are going to send your child to a private coach at the age of six, seven, eight, even, um, I, I would like to emphasize that most importantly, you need to be spending time with that kid at home as well. Um, and that's why I say it's not essential for you to be sending your child to private coaching at that age. Um, the most important thing for kids at that age is for them to be playing and having fun. I think um, you look around the world, um, it's everybody's trying to get ahead um, and so you get caught up with the whole um, keeping up with the Joneses, Joneses um, so and so sending their son to private coaching and look how well he's doing and you know so everybody's very quick to send the kids off and, and, and please don't get me wrong I think there's, uh, there's, there's great coaches out there um, um, and, and they definitely have a place but we as people have forgotten that the most important thing is time spent as parents, and I'm a parent of three girls, and we forget actually that that's the most important thing, is you as a parent spending time with your kid. Um, I, if I look back over my whole cricket career, um, and I think back to all the things that I enjoy doing most related to cricket, um, and I've got to be honest with you, I think the most enjoyable time was when I was a kid, on our front lawn on our farm in KZN, South Africa, um, with my dad hitting us catches. I had three brothers, so there were four of us. Um, and the fun we had on that, on that lawn with my father, and we started when we were little, um, hitting us little catches, uh, trying to outdo each other, um, to when we got older, he was standing on the top bank and smashing it as high as he could. Uh, it was just, it wasn't actually the catching of the ball, there was, there was great fun in that. It was spending time with our dad, who at the time was working really hard on the farm, um, and it was tough. You know, he, as most people out there now are, you know, they're busy, the world's tough. You know, you've, you've, got, to, you've got to provide for your family, and you've got to have a job, and you've got to work. Um, and so f for him to come and spend time with us was amazing, and, and it just built such a big passion with us. Um, and, and, and we mustn't forget as parents that that is more important than spending money on a professional coach. Your child would rather spend time with you playing a catching game or just you throwing a ball to them and them hitting it than to be sent off to a private coach. There does come a time for that. Um, and, and you will know. Um, you've, as a parent, you will know. You'll know when the time is right for your child to, to now move on to something better than what you can provide. But please, 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 please make sure that at a young age, and don't ever stop, even once you've sent your kid off at some stage to, to, um, to a private coach, make sure you carry on playing with them. Um, but at that age, at six, seven, eight, it's not important if you don't send your child to private coaching. Don't get caught up with everybody else and feel like your child is going to get left behind spend time with your child at home i do know that it's it's tough for some people some people are working a whole day you know maybe two jobs um, it's not easy out there i do know this um, but if you can and when you can make time make time for your child and it's simple games just throw and catch balls with them let them hit the ball don't worry about their technique don't worry about whether they can hit the ball or can't, the more you throw to them, the more they hit it, the better they're going to get. The more they throw, the better they're going to get, and the more confident they're going to get. And by you spending time with them, you will build that confidence. Children will get their confidence more from their parents than from any other individual. So make sure that you are spending time with your children first, and you are playing simple, basic catching games with them as much as you can before you send them off to private coaching. And like I said before, I'm not saying that you shouldn't. If you can, it's fantastic. Just make sure that your coach who's coaching your children is up to speed with the way coaching is done now. 
and um, that they are not just drilling your child into the ground and turning them into a machine because it's very easy to coach um, simple basic methods so that you see a progression but at that age you're actually coaching character you're coaching um, you're developing the child as a person more as a as a as a as a cricketer because by the age of eight or nine they don't know if they're going to be professional cricketers one day um, but they certainly are going to be people and they're going to learn how to be people more from you than from a cricket coach so make sure you're doing that and if you are a person who has got no idea and you have got no cohorts or you think you have no cohorts then turn it into something fun with your kid make them get them to help you get them to teach you and laugh about it and have fun and you will find yourself being able to catch a ball because maybe you didn't have the opportunity that we had when we were kids maybe you didn't you couldn't spend time with your father and your mother as much as what we did um, but that's no excuse for you not to do that for your children and I'm pretty sure if all of us look back at our childhood that is probably the most important thing to most of us is the time spent with our moms and dads and and those of you who didn't have a mom and dad I'm really sorry about that but I can guarantee you that deep down inside that is probably the one thing that you miss most and and wish for most as a kid growing up um, that you could have spent time with your with your father or your mother playing I don't even have to be ball games could just be doing anything but when it comes to sport it's a, it plays a major, major role. So, yeah, make sure that you are spending time with your kids before you send them off to private coaching. It's not essential. Um, there will come a time when you will know that your child has got something special or that they just need a little bit more help than what you've got. And that's what we are going to try and do here on Home Coach Cricket is to try and equip you, especially those parents. I mean, there's a lot of people out there that have played cricket and um, will know what to do. They won't need to, they won't need help. But I know there's a lot of people out there who, who feel that they've got no idea um, and we can help you. So keep watching. Um, the next couple of weeks we're going to send out a few videos on bowling. We've done a bit on batting. I think we've, we're going to do one more um, session on getting the full swing because it's important that uh, children at a young age learn how to hit the ball. Um, as cricket has developed, it's no longer... Um, batting for time, it's about scoring runs quickly on small fields, um, so yeah, one more session on batting and then we're going to move on to some bowling drills for you and a few fielding drills, uh, we've got a good Q&A coming up with um, a level 4 coach and, um, and then we'll see where we go from there.